here. <clears throat> so welcome everyone, this is the VG Pierce, and I'll be coming at you with some Season 13 action for the Cabal Vision Champions Cup playoffs. We're about to see the opening here, after waiting oh so patiently. Thank you guys for waiting. I know you just enjoy hanging out with me. Unfortunately, I don't have the challenge up, so we're just going to do it from all from the BB2 client. All of these teams ready to go. We did not have the Halfling team accepting his invite yet, so if you guys know Super Puff, tell him or her to hurry up and take the ticket. Otherwise, my filler team is going to take the loss, and I don't like taking losses. Okay, guys? So you guys out there, spread the word, find Super Puff, and get him in here. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. Alright, without further ado guys, this is the opening brackets for you all out there. This is to see who is going to play against who in this Champions Cup. Let's go ahead and hit this up. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Let's do it! You can create an oh, you can create an automatic seating. You must select the teams to play against. Her. Do you want to create automatic seating? No. And there we go. Barrels of Doom. It's gonna play. Wait, did I put automatic seating? I did. Crap. I did. Oops. Go back. Go back. I thought I didn't do it. Oh no, I didn't. Know. Well, this is this is all randomized anyway, so we're just going to start it right here. So, start team. Ta-da! Yes. All right, so barrels of doom filler. There we go. Barrels of doom versus the filler. Did I, didn't I put yeah? Did I put no or yes on that? I feel like I put. I feel like you're supposed to say no to that. Uh, oh well. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's it's all pretty much randomized afterwards. Anyways, barrels of doom takes on the filler team here, and then Laban the the loop the loops versus Uzalak Ashes. The Punch Eaters taking on Dark Pony. Got tackle versus the Gotham Bad Boys. Their team. And then Russian versus non Vatinati. The Russians versus the Italians. They're just matched up in order. Well, it'll be whatever they had accepted the ticket. So that's still randomized. Oh well. It's okay, guys. Well, actually, no, it won't be because I when I accepted the ticket, I was number two. Oh well, I mean, it's still random. There we go. And then uh, Punch Eaters, Dark Pony. Oh, no, 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 that's down here. Russians versus the Italians. Yes, yes. And then Made of Sands, Big Butt Brothers, 13. I mean, they're in order from the teams here. But it's still random how, how it ended up, right? I don't even know how, but that's not really random. Like, when I accepted my ticket, I was still second instead of just being last. So. Oh well. Well, you saw here. That's why That's why I do it live, guys, because it was still, even though it was a little bit of a slip up, it's still randomized. Nobody fixed anything, guys. The Believers. Check it out. Well, Wolf Bark, what do you want, man? You want me to just re-invite everyone? I have to do this now. <laughs> we only have five weeks to play this instead of six weeks. So we got to go. We just got to... Everybody's got to play this weekend. ASAP. So 
My bad. I, I messed up, guys. I'm sorry. I thought I read it. I should have put yes. Did I put? Did I click yes or no? I felt like it's like it's. It seems a bit muddled here. Gosh, Blood Bowl with their with their ways. Anyways, limp wristed Nancy boys, take it on, baby V stringer. Flea Circus Fanatics taking on football champagne. Alright. Learn how to roll once chores have taken over. Well, Crystal Hunter, it appears that you're playing Ducky first. Which one is you, Wolf Bark? Oh, you're the humans? Oh, you're playing as the orcs? Not yet, puppy. I, I just paired them all up. And so we're just going to go over all the teams now real quick. So Barrels of Doom versus my filler team, which is actually the Halfling team. So Barrels of Doom here, Halfling. Mm -hmm. Wolfbane Sons, Barrels of Doom, the <laughs> Dwarven team. Taking on the Halfling team if he comes on. If not, he's going to get a free win. But nonetheless, we're going to have a runner with Accurate. What? Kickoff return and then the block here. And then a runner with the... Dodge sidestep with tackle and then mighty blow for that troll slayer. Nothing really crazy, no like you know, mighty blow piling on and all that great stuff that you usually see. And uh, a few guys with guard, but lots of mighty blows in the front line. So a interesting dwarf team with a not a, not too many crazy guys, but definitely one. You know the nice thing is that I'm gonna go right down the line, right? Because it's it's all it's all down the line <laughs> because I didn't I didn't shift any of this stuff. I try to go back, and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me un, undo what I did. Well, but you know what though? At least it'll be all side by side, right? Because you know, punch eaters will play against dark pony. This is gonna make this is gonna make my life easier, guys. I love it. I should do this more often. <laughs> so, Le Ben de, de Lou. Flesh Golem with the block and guards with the Mighty Blow. And then a white here with the guard and also the Mighty Blow. Werewolves with the blodge and this one here with tackle and Mighty Blow. And then the agility. So, I mean, not a bad Nicomed team. And let's check out Invincible or 120-sable. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting matchup right here. So the Necromancer team taking on the Chaos Dwarf team, the number two Chaos Dwarf team actually. But next time press yes on randomize. I don't know. You know what? Before when I was like hovering over it, you, you guys should have been typing up faster. Press yes, you idiots. I read it too fast. Normally, normally I hit the right thing, but just... This is the first time that I've hit the wrong thing. But let's not talk about the time I deleted the league on accident. I know, it's not really clear. Oh well, hey, I'll, I'll just be happy. <laughs> I'll just be, I'll just be happy that everything is easy for me to see. So we got lots of guard here, lots of claw. Boy, this Chaos Dwarf team's got my vote. Nickerman team. It's just one of those teams where it's just... They want to do the punching, but against a team that does do the punching... It's just... They're a little bit lacking. Their werewolves really need to come in big with their claw and mighty blow. Well, actually, there's only one one, uh, one werewolf with the claw and mighty blow. So, I mean, that's going to be a really tough fight for the Marseille. 
Menke. Menke is the Wood Elf team taking on the Dark Elf team. The NAF League, Jimmy deleted that one one time. Look, I have deleted my league or once already, so. It says generate automatic seating. Yeah, I should just, I need to read it again. It should just be like this one line. Do you want manual seating or no? That should, that should be it. Like, do you want man manual seating? Yes or no? What's all this other line? Like, we're gonna do blah, 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 blah. And then people like me who, you know, don't read too good. Who don't read good. <laughs> I swear, I swear that's like the first time I messed up in all of these Champions Cups. Ah, <sighs> man. War Dancer with the plus one in strength, tackle, and sidestep with the frenzy ability. And then the War Dancer here with the strip ball, plus one in movement allowance, tackle with the mighty blow. Tree man with just the guard. Catchers. Nothing too fancy, but he does have these nice little stat ups for the war dancer. Just a uh, pretty normal looking wood elf team, to be honest. Except for the uh, except for the stat ups, but still, I mean, I like it though. Nice and solid. Does have a few of these linemen that has these skills to help him keep alive. So I like it. We'll be facing off against this Dark Elf team, Tyra. Oh yeah, well, I took a look at this already, and this one also not very impressive at all. So Witch Elf here, so I like I like Mankis' Wood Elf team here. Plus one agility is there, and the leap could be the difference. Could be able to pull off a surprise there, but I think yeah, the uh, Wood Elf team is a little bit better. A little bit better off there. Got tackle, taking on Gotham Bad Boys 13, taking on the Amazon team. Joanian. We'll have this Blitzers there. Look at this. The Amazon team going full bash. Like, you know what, guys? I'm taking guard, and I'm taking mighty blow, and I'm taking piling on. That's right, guys. Look at this Amazon team, huh? Like all the rest of you guys have built this Amazon team incorrectly. I'm going all full bash. I don't need Dauntless or anything like that. I got guard. Line women here with sure hands. This is likely the main ball carrier, so she's probably gonna get something that'll help with the ball carrying. And then two line women with dirty player. Yeah, eight blodge guards. That's amazing, actually. And facing up against that Dark Elf team, that Amazon team might actually be okay. But let's take a look at Nightwind's Gotham Bad Boys. Plus ones in strength. Not going to really help out too much. We'll be able to get some of those lone hits in. But then the guard, you got to watch out for that against that Amazon team. And loads of people with Mighty Blow and piling on. Jeez, the Dark Elf team. If the Dark Elf team wins, they'll be bruised and battered and beat up, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, so I actually like the Amazon team just because of all the mighty blows and piling on and guard and and all that great stuff here. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, Dark Elves, I like them. But uh, I think, I don't know, I think I, I'm feeling the Amazon team, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because of all this guard and Mighty Blue and piling on. And also, look, team value 1690. And then 1950. I mean, not only that, it's going to get the wizard. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to have to go, go with that one there. I do love the Witch Elves with the plus one of strength throw. I, I'll tell you that much. Man. It's it's going to be basically who has the better women on their team. But I, I kind of like the Amazon team. Alright, take a look at Diomed team. Undead. Mummies with the black. Whoa, both of them with black. Wow. And then 
Has the guard and the dodge. Tackle, stand firm. Man, everybody with block. I feel like I'm looking at a Norse team suddenly. They're like, okay, you get blocked, and you know what? Everybody, everybody get blocked. I'm not even gonna play around with the tackle. Need the four players with tackle. Blotch tackle mummy. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You see that? You see that wolf bark? That's amazing. Yeah, you see that too, puppy? <laughs> if he was playing against another Norse team, I'd be a little bit worried about this undead team, but uh, I guess not too shabby. We'd be playing against uh, Spartaco here. And Spartaco as well has lots of block. But the difference here, the claw with the mighty blow piling on. I'm gonna like Spartaco for this one. Undead team. Let's have a couple of mummies here. Nurgle Warriors though with the plus one of strength here and then guard. It's a good little combination here. And then the pest score with two agility ups. I like the combination. Yeah, I'm still gonna take Spartaco though. But then again, Dione. Can't you know you can't count him out. He's gonna be getting some inducements as well. So, yeah, and then, yeah, and then of course, just as you say there, two hundred seventy-six SPP killer. The Pestagor. I mean, look at that, max level Pestagor. Can't get any better than that. Nary injury. 53 wins, 14 losses, 16. Somebody should tell Spartaco you don't need to go past 30 some games. But I guess when you're having fun, you're having fun. Man, I tell you what. Actually, you know what? Um. Spartaco was playing against uh, Vincenzo, I thought, right? Let me take a look here. Uh, none. Vancinati. Oh no. Punch Eaters versus Dark. Dark Pony. No, no, no. That's 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 correct. And then, oh, this this is weird, right? Okay, no, this is this is not weird. Okay, yeah, this is right. It's right. Sorry. No, they're in, they're in order. I'm still confused. <laughs> I I just wanted to make sure. That's all. Okay, let's continue on. Made of sand, Vincennes taking on Big Butt Brothers. <laughs> I like that name, the Big Butt Brothers. Aldrea, nice to see you. We've just matched it up and it's all totally random. Don't listen to what all these other guys have to say. <laughs> Tomb Guardian. Lots of guard. Lots of Mighty Blow. And I dare say that you definitely need to get Mighty Blow for your first skill unless it's block. Ah, thank you, Andrea. Nice to hear from you as well. Lots of guard here, and mighty blow, stand firm, and guard. See, this is, this is the difference, right? He's got block, and suddenly he's got more SPP than the other people. That's how it works. Blitzra. Oh, minus one in agility. Ah, well, whatever. Who needs two agility? And then mighty blow tackle piling off for that man. The throw raw. Plus one is strength, block, tackle. You know, it's one of those things, right? You play the throw runs and you kind of run out of skills to give them. It's like, yeah, I'm going to give him leader. Yeah, I'm going to get him block and maybe tackle. Then after that, you're like, uh, what do I get him now? Skeletons with block. I like this. I like this here. Very destructive team. 
but we'll be facing off against the Ogres. Could find himself a little bit nuffled there, but uh, Tomb Guardians with the 5 strength will be able to meet the threat of these Ogres, but all of these Ogres have block! All of these Ogres pretty much have guard, almost all of them, except for this guy. And then three of them will stand firm, two of them will break tackle. Man, I really like this Ogre team! And then the two Noblars there with the diving tackle. All he really needs now is like one of these Noblars with plus one agility. But how the hell did he get all six Ogres with block, huh? I mean, talk about, talk about the light shining through the heavens. And only two rerolls. What a nice little point out there. Necro pretense. I mean, jeez. Two rerolls. Let's take a look at statistics there. 20 wins, 5 draws, 10 losses. That's still going to happen, but that's very impressive right there. Whoever the last guy he played here, Negget there, was like, what the hell is this ogre team? <laughs> 53 blocks succeeded. Man, that guy just played bashy against this crazy ogre team. I don't know if you want to do that, but uh, he got bashed. Well, simply because they're a tier 3 team, I'm still going to say that I like the Kemri team, but man, that ogre team looks pretty good. Let's take a quick look again. <laughs> man! You know, if those ogres, they could definitely later hurt on these TGs. And if they get the injury, ouch. I think maybe regeneration would be pretty nice here if it works. You know what? No, you know I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I like I like the ogre team, but no, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna stick with the Kemri team, just because it's just natural. All right, let's take a look at the believers versus Papa. The Believers, Papa Nasty taking on the Besa. I don't think it'll be easy for the Camry as well. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, oh yeah, Camry's easily got this one in the bag. No, it's, it's going to be one of those things where Ogres, hopefully they don't get boneheads too many times. Hopefully Noblars are going to do what they need to do. All right. So we have the High Elf team with the Blodge, Accurate here for the Thrower, and then the Dodge right on there for the Blitzer here with the Mighty Blow, Dauntless, Tackle. Going to be missing the Blitzer for the first game, that's going to be a little bit too bad. Does have Diving Tackle and Tackle with the side step on him, and then the Catchers to Wrestle, and then Agility for the Catcher. And then Raj for both of those linemen. It's okay, good thing he's playing against the base's Bretonian team here. <laughs> you got the ogres with the six block though. Wow. How did that happen? Miracles, that's what happened. Blockers there. Natural thing is definitely take guard for your blockers. Dirty player for your linemen. Then of course the knights, the knights of the round table. This one here plus one in strength, mighty blow tackle with that dodge ability, and then the blitzer here with the sidestep dodge and the diving tackle, and then another one with plus one in strength, sure hands and the tackle. Pretty good, pretty good ball handler right there. Again, two rerolls. What's up with these two rerolls? You think that's the best ogre team you've ever seen? <laughs> I know. I'm a little bit shocked myself. But focus here, focus here. Okay, the baser with the Bretonian team. Taking on Papa Nasty's high elf team. I'm think I'm really thinking Bretonians here. I like those guys a little bit more than the high elf team. 
Kill him at the hot club. Zippy. 75 taking on String Bell's Goblin team. So I guess the Gabo who's kind of looked out got a little bit of an agility guy, but man, high flying Elvin with the Blodge lineman, and then the thrower does have him with the Blodge, and then the sure hands for him as well, and then Leap Blitzer with the plus one in agility, and then a tackle Blitzer, and then plus one in, in movement allowance and the strength. Oh, the goblins are gonna have to show me something special. They're gonna have to show me something special, guys. <clears throat> A bombardier with accurate. Fanatic with mighty blow. And <laughs> all right, the loony. See, look, this is this is the proper usage of the loony, guys. Stop using the chainsaw and start using the fouls, okay? This is, the, this is the proper usage right here. That's pretty good stuff right here. Man, that chainsaw, this is so dirty. You see this, you see this right here? Do you see this lo loony? There's no magic show. This is a chainsaw show. And then the troll here with block and the stand firm. Gabos with sidestep. Who needs pogoers? Should have used the Hail Mary pass on the Bombardier? Yeah, that probably would have been better, actually. Yeah. I agree with that, scum. But, it's okay. Now he's got a, now he's got a Bombardier that can really huck one. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm still definitely going to go with the Elven Union. Pupak here with the Wood Elf team taking on Space Cadets Norse team. So let's take a look here. Tree Man with the grab. Plus one in movement allowance. Block. I like to see this Wood Elf team a whole lot better looking than the other Wood Elf team. Already. War Dancer with plus one in movement allowance. Strip Ball, Mighty Blow with Tackle. And then this one here with the Tackle and the Wrestle. And then, depending on probably who he's facing, he's probably going to end up either with the, uh, I don't know what that, he, he can go with anything, like sidestep, or uh, if he was facing against a Bashy team, or any, anybody, yeah, he can take anything. He can take strip ball again, why not? I kind of feel like it's overkill. You take one guy with strip ball, that's kind of all you really need, because you don't need to shut down hard with all the different people that have sure hands already. Catcher with block, sidestep, diving tackle, and then wrestle with the Dauntless. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little bit look, looking a little bit better. But, these Nancy boys, they're ready to play. Got the Yeti with the block and Mighty Blow with plus one strength, break tackle. I love this. Both, both of those big guys, the Tree Man, he's big, and then the Yeti also is big, but... Does have claw on him with the plus one in strength. So six strength Yeti can take down that tree and then make that guy nothing but a bench. Old foreigner with mighty blow. I mean, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I feel like a little bit of a toss up. I mean, Yeti can stand up to that tree and help probably take that tree out pretty quickly. And the war dancers. Oh boy. Playing against that Norse team. These guys are gonna be hurting. Not enough guys with block and wrestle, right? Well he's got he's got a good bit, actually. Block and wrestle. Yeah, actually all, almost all these guys got it. So there he's alright. He's only got what two guys without it. This guy who's level one and injured, and then the guy that got kick. So he's alright.
Let's see here. Oh no, he's got the sure hands right here. Don't worry. Yeah, oh, you're right. I, I was like, ooh, does, does the Norse team not have a sure hands runner? Well, luckily for him, he does. Because otherwise, he would have been in a little bit of a trouble. Boy, this one's, this one's difficult to call. What do you think, guys? Tell me. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. Pupak. I like Pupak, but then the Yeti should be able to neutralize that tree man pretty quickly. Let's see here. Does, is there a lot of tackle here for the Norse? That's what the Norse really needs here. Listen, he only got one guy with tackle? That's not nearly good enough. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the Wood Elf team may have Space Cadet's number. 18, 3, and 5. And then we see 20 wins, 2 draws, and 1 loss. Let's see who he lost to. What? He lost to... The Brandon Fusco's f four feet Niners. Man, what a game there. Two expulsions. Just had a lot of injuries there. That's 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 what's really happened there. Chaos dwarves, hey. Ugh. That's his bane right there, I think. Uh huh, just any would have pain. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Wood Elf team. Mike the Machine, Skaven versus the Vampires. Yeah, it go either way, right? Neck of potential. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the Wood Elf team. Just so simply on that record. Wow, 20 wins and one loss. I think that's I think that's a good one to go with. Storm Vermin with Claw, Mighty Blow, and the piling on. There you go. There you go, Crystal Hunter. You, you're missing this guy right here on your t on your team. And then another Storm Vermin there with Might Blow and the Guard and the Tackle ability. And then Gut Runner. Wow, I love it. Sure feet, Leap. Strip Ball, plus one Agility Wrestle. Real big Ball Hawk. Too bad he's got minus one arm value, so... He might go out pretty quickly after he does the Cage Dive. Then the one turn right there. I like that. That's not too bad. Facing off against the vampire team. Blodge for your vamps. Sidestep as well. Who needs pro? But he only got three vampires, so not a big deal, actually. And then the plus one agility for that guy, and then tackle. And then plus one is straight thrall. And then blocks here for those guys. Wrestle over there. It's uh it's not too bad there, but I really like the Skaven team. Pestex taking on Elliot. Amazon team taking on the Chaos team. So we have two Amazon teams that made it this time. And Arian, thanks for the host, my friend. Haha. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks so much here. We are taking a look here at the opening brackets and predictions. Anarian fans, so unfortunately I kind of nubbed up the the seating and it just seated everybody that was next to each other. So <laughs> <laughs> it's still random guys. Well, the whole point is that you know what? I don't fix anything guys. I just don't do any of that All right, so we have the heroines and then the The blodge of course for the blitzers coming in here and then the and then the guard and then plus one is straight Hey, you know what? He didn't subscribe to the mighty blow piling on like the other girls did That's what's going on here and then Mighty Blow Tackle piling off of that Blitzer here and the sidestep block and the diving tackle. Anarian, thank you so much. The pressure is on to do a nice presentation. <laughs> okay, as long as you promise you have won all of your games today, then, then I'll do a really good one. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thanks for following Destronov. Thank you so much. Indeed. And then uh, Dirty Player here, Dirty Player for those line women. It's not too bad. Heroines taking on Elliot and uh, let's see here. 
trans transculu no it's tr truculent it's truculent uh, i think the amazon team i think is going to be able to take this one here this chaos team of elliot 38 wins and seven losses but during the way he's lost some players beast man there with stand firm sure hands and then mighty blow claw the piling on but no real tackle. You kind of need tackle to take on these Amazon ladies. Plus one of strength. More plus one of strength there. So, I mean, it'll get the, a few of these bashes off at least. But, man, that's going to be tough, I think. I think I like the Amazon team. Free Nietzsche. Thanks for following, my friend. Thank you so much. Just a quick look here of the, the schedule, guys, just in case you missed it. I put my filler team in there. So, Barrels of Doom taking on the filler team. The band. Well, actually, again, this is all pretty much straightforward because I nubbed it up. I did. It wasn't really randomized, unfortunately, but uh, it means randomized enough. But yeah, we, we this is going to be all, all of the matchups here. And unfortunately, I was really busy at work today, and I didn't get the tournament bracket up as well. So again, I'm going to have to just, I'm just going to have to separate all that. I'm about halfway through, Juanian. But when I had started it up, basically side by side, that's who they're playing. So Wolf Bainson's playing the filler team or the halfling team. Le Marseille is taking on Invincible here. And then Mank is against, against Tyra, Tyra. And then Joanian, you're playing against Nightwind. Okay, so that's kind of what you may have missed here. And Dion's taking on Spartaco. Undead versus the Nurgle team. But at least it makes the presentation easier. You guys can see what's going on. Vincennes is taking on Cyber Knight. I always see the silver lining in things here. Papa Nasty, High Elf team taking on the Basers Bretonian team. And then Zippy75, the Elven Union, taking on the Goblin team of Stringer Bell. P Pupak, Wood Elf team, taking on Space Cadets. Norse team, Mike Machine. Skaven team taking on Ungern's Vampire team. And then Pastex, Amazon team taking on the Chaos team of Elliot. And right there, I was just kind of saying that I like the Amazon team to win this game right there. So, next up, Crystal Hunter versus Ducky. Unfortunately, Crystal Hunter, he's a little bit beat up. Joanny, you didn't get tackled. Oh, man. So, Crystal Hunter right here with the Underworld team. Not as great as... Underworld teams that we have seen in the past few Champions Cups where their team was pretty nice. In fact, we've seen the Underworld team go pretty deep into the playoffs as well. So, I don't know if Crystal Hunter will be able to repeat some of the successes that the Underworld team has had. But, he's going to have to do it against Ducky, one of the most notable coaches here in the Champions Ladder scene. And as you see there, Ducky, he's pretty well prepared for just about anything and anyone. So, I mean, Claw, Mighty Blow with the block ability for his Chaos Warriors. Plus one in strength, block, and guard for all this nice stuff. Beastmen, they're all pretty good. They're pretty good to go there. So, I, I have to say, Crystal Hunter's a little bit... Of, no, I'm not going to say a little. He's really in trouble in this game. Free Nietzsche, or team taking on Wolfbark. So, we got Orcs versus the Humans. The classic matchup. In fact, it's it's displayed on the cover of Blood Bowl 2 where the humans take on the orcs. Who's gonna win? That's the question here. We got a troll here for Free Nietzsche. And then block for all the rest. I love that here. And then guard for the black orcs. And then stand firm for these two. And then the dodge for the black orc. I remember the first time I ever played orcs and I rolled doubles for all of my black orcs and so they all had blodge <laughs> yeah it was, it was a little bit ridiculous and then the blitzer with the mighty blow piling on tackle and the guard and then blitzer with diving tackle in the guard wow diving tackle huh wow. i almost feel like jump up would have been a little bit better there And then the tackle here, and then the block, and then the guard. So loads of guys with guard. Lots of lots of people ready for bashings. And the humans better be ready with guard as well. 
And the wolf block here also does have that, but has lots of people with mighty blows and even the piling on tackle there for both of those guys. Diving catch even for the catcher. Well, I know, but uh, jump up is harder to get, and you can get access to piling on if you if you had uh, if you had another level or something. No ogre for the humans. What's up with that, Wolf Bart? Oh, you can just buy it if you want. Hey, don't forget, if you're if you're over 150k, it adds it adds to your team value. So you can actually shed 50k by spending 50k somewhere. Unless that was a tactic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to blow the bubble there. Lots more mighty blow. I think if the I think if the orc team had more, more guys with more dangerous skills, like mighty blow, piling on, all that stuff, humans might be in a bit of a trouble. But I actually like the human team here. Free Nietzsche, please don't unsubscribe. I love you. But this is all unbiased. I do like the guard spam though, so he's gonna get a lot more hits off. But uh, but if he had more mighty blows. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I, I think I like the humans. I know what you guys are saying. VG's mad. What's he talking about? Orcs. Wolf Bark with 26 and 3. Take a look at Free Chat. Free Nietzsche. 25 and 2. So about even with the wins and losses. And the draws even. No stadium as well. I mean, it's gonna be tough because of all this guard, but it's got that funny feeling. Plus one agility, block, accurate thrower. I love that. Couple of catchers, even this one with diving catch. Pretty good stuff. Well, let's be honest. Any, any. Any orc team has a little bit more of a, a bashier feel, right? But it's just... It's just not... Uh, it's just not as dangerous as some of the other orcs I've seen. Let's just put it at that. How's that? It's just... It's not as dangerous, right? I mean, like, you're going into the game, you're feeling good about it. In fact, if I had your human team, I would feel like it's 50-50. That's how I would feel. But since I don't pick draws and I pick winners and losers only, I'm gonna stick to my guns and pick the human team. Coldy versus Greg Cad. Lizard Man team of Coldy. Coldy usually comes into the Champions Cup with the High Elf team, but this time making it with the Lizard Man team. So hey, hey, success! Black with the mighty blow for that SARS here. I feel like, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six SARS. Okay, he's got them all. He just went, he just went alternating to mess with my eyeballs. And then cross scroll with the guard and stand firm. I like that. That's not too bad here. Stand firm to make biggest use of the pencil tail. Then the skink with the diving tackle and the sidestep. Hmm. Got blocked for for four of the source, but not for these saurus. Crox cores, not two shabs. Let's take a look at the Chaos Dwarf team of Crucifer. You know, I think the Lizard Man team might be in a bit of trouble here. At least only two guys with Claw, Mighty Blow, and Piling On. But that still might be enough, considering you can't just dodge your way from the front line, right? You gotta stay there and do get out with the Chaos Dwarf blockers who have Guard. A 
I'm sticking to my guns, puppy. Humans over the ore team. <laughs> oh, that's not the matchup. Oh, I'm sorry. It was lizard versus a uh, high elf. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Somebody spiked my drink. That's what it is, guys. Did I just skip over? I was too eager to look at Crucifer. <laughs> I was seeing if you guys were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now now the real matchup here, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the sage, <clears throat> clear throat. <laughs> All right, uh, blitzers here with the <laughs> blodge, the blodge high elves, and then the plus one in movement allows diving tackle sidestep blitzers the catchers here with the plus one. In the agility wrestle and the leap throwers two throwers with the accurate and the leader which one has the ball more what do you think except this guy's got the minus one movement allowance it feels kind of mad to me I like Cody's lizard man team except he's missing a guy He's missing a few t few teeth here, guys. Some skinks. But otherwise, I'm gonna have to take Cody over Greg Cad. All right, now we gotta take a look at Cru Crucifer. Ooh. Ah, Crucifer. Okay. Then taking on oh Miss Miss Hander, the rats. It may have been the rats test team, but it came it. The test became live. Oh boy, Christopher. Hey, well, at least the Skaven says says no to the claw, but not to the mighty blow and piling on Necropotence. But otherwise, he'd be all right. Storm Vermin. Too bad he doesn't have claw himself, but what he does have is plus one in movement allowance with the blodge and the sprint. Plus one agility. Too bad the gutter runner with the one move touchdown threat doesn't have the plus one agility, huh? Just missed out. Like both of these guys with plus one agility. Oh. Um. I think I think the, I think the Skaven team does have chances of winning, but against a Chaos Dwarf team like that, man, that's and it, and it's Crucifer. He's just so solid, right? I mean, he's just. I, I feel like. If you ever watch Crucifer play, it just seems like he's just unperturbed, right? He's just like, he gets nuffled and he's and he's like, shit, <laughs> and that's and that and that's the extent of his his rage. <laughs> so I mean, I feel like, I, I feel like the only way that Crucifer's gonna lose is Skaven team just gets lucky. Not to say that he doesn't have any skill. He, he's definitely good at playing Skaven team, but I'm just saying that for the game, he's gonna need to get luck. Line rats need to stay up for as long as possibly can and need to get that one move touchdown at either the end of the half or end of the second half where he might be able to win the game. If he goes to the OT, might as well forget it. Yes, he does. <laughs> does have the one turn threat right here. No, I'm saying Skaven can win, but uh, they may have to pay in blood. That's all I'm going to say. Nocturne Solo, Bulker, the Lizard Man team, taking on Will King, the Leap OP. Look at that. These guys are actually quite well matched up, too. Get 500k in inducements. Pa! I laugh in the face of 500k, guys. I don't care about that stuff. I don't bet against Crucifer. Okay, maybe I do. But.
but for sure, yeah. Keep the turn, keep the one turner off the field. Journey rats with DP, solid plan. Ah, I like I like where you're going with that. I think he's going to be going to be late to the game and misses inducements. Problem solved. <laughs> well, thank you. see that Destinov's got the problem in hand. That's the win, guys. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that Skaven has no chance at all. I'm just picking. I'm just picking winners and losers. That's all I'm doing, guys. I know you guys might think I'm crazy, that I'm wild. Not yet, free Nietzsche. I I I didn't get to do it, so I'm going to do it right after this cast. So it will be up in just a few. Let me uh, give you guys the link for it. Oh, okay. Altria is already on it. <laughs> what are you stalking my challenge? Well, thank you for that, Adria. Oh, you want to see the halfling team? Okay. He should be accepting. I don't know. We haven't heard yet. But normally people accept soon enough. Oh, and that's one thing I need to do is leave the leap. But let me just do the Lizardman team here. Versus the Kislev Circus. Alright, and then we'll be done. With this here. Team roster tackle. Mighty blow for these guys. Block here. Couple of guys are gonna be injured here. No SARS here. No skin. I guess good thing he's going against a, a Kislev team who's who's more likely to leap away than the bash, right? But would have definitely loved to see these SARS on the pitch or this SARS at least. And we'll be missing a skink, but just love one skink. So only just gonna be missing this one SARS really. Plus one is strength skink. Man, he's he's been eating what the Saurus has been eating. That's what's going on here. Someone, someone get get him out of that bowl. Will King. And this is not a very leveled up Kislev team. Went with three catchers and a tame bear. Boy, oh boy, lizard man team might be. Crunching these bones here. Does have another lineman with. He's got so much plus one agility, though. Wow. 13 wins, 3 draws, and 3 losses. This is, see, this is how you get into the tournament, guys. You just have to have 13, 3, and 3 for a Kislev team in, in your end, guys. You're in. And then 19 wins, 4 draws, 2 losses here for that man here. And the thing about it too is, Boker and Wilking, these are first time shows for the tournament, so I have no idea how these guys are going to play. And they're very close in team value, so... This could definitely just be going either way. This is definitely a coin toss at this point. I have no idea how either one plays. No idea how this is going to go out. So I'm just going to say... Yeah, that was the top Kislev team. Can you believe that? Nobody wanted to play Kislev. That's what happens, guys. You let these kind of rubbish teams in. And it's not my fault. I just run the league. You want to see it against the the record? 13, 3, and 3. Yeah, top kids live. <laughs> but it does have lots of guys with the 4 agility, right? So maybe he will surprise the Lizard Man team if he stays upright. But uh, I don't think that won't be. I don't think that will be too much of an issue, to be honest, because. Sure, he's got three guys with Mighty Blow and the Croc score. But, uh, can just kind of stay away. And as long as Kislev team doesn't base him up, might be okay. Missing one stars as well, so that might actually bode well. I mean, it's not, it's not a terrible Kislev team. By no means. <clears throat> Let's got wrestle for these three. Mm. Four rerolls. I just, I just kind of wish I knew how they played. Leap is a little bit OP. 
coming in with a big old winning streak, right? He's, he was like 2-1 there, one nothing. Lost big time here. Dark Ales, baby. And then relearning dwarves. Couldn't get that one together. Remember, he goes back to front. So this is the last game. Hell, we can actually pull up a replay. We can pull up the replay. That's how. That's that's how. Um, not too long ago, he's played. You'd rather be Kislev? Uh, you know, I I would rather be Lizard, because the thing about it is that the Kislevs look. They're they're okay. I'm not gonna say they're bad. They're okay. You know, they're 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 good, but. It's just that the Lizard Man team is just easier to play, right? It, sure, he's going to be missing down Asaurus, but it's just it's just more natural to play this type of team. It's easier. Yeah, I know, Juanian. Didn't have the decency to play one more game. Well, look how beat up the Lizardman team is, though, right? Like, five movement allowance, five movement allowance. Something happened to these guys. Some long, dark story. Whoa, Wolf Park! Okay, you want a challenge, man? You want a challenge? <laughs> I'll take you on a bracket challenge. Who can pick the most winners from the bracket challenge? Let me let me uh, let me remind you of my 80% win streak here on my bracket challenge. You take on that filler team any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would. I'm gonna take the Lizardman team only because it's easier to play the Lizardman team than it is to play this Kizdub team. That's all. That's all. That's only. That's the only reason why I like them. I mean, maybe a few few more guys. He got the wrestle and tackle combo right here. Get to that skink ball carrier and, and whack him in the face. It's gonna be a at least a one die block, right? I mean, uh, the catcher. Those lizards did do you a favor by beating the number two humans. Yeah, they got some pretty undeveloped teams in this tournament. Yeah. People just giving up on life. That's what's going on. People are like, no, nah, my, my team's not good enough to win. Yes, it is. Just get in there and play your teams, damn it. There we go. Well, I'll fill out the challenge, guys. So just watch out for that. And then you guys can put in your predictions. But I'm going to be looking at doing that at the moment. So many guys with the injuries. I know, right, Joanian? Whose fault is that, huh? God. Maybe if I didn't have a slip of the finger, <laughs> you might have got somebody else. But it is easier to see now. I'll give myself a pat on the back on that one. <laughs> not that, not that that really, really matters. Expel my filler team there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys wanted to see the halfling team? Z first. Halfling team. That's right, guys. Fear the halfling team. Tree men with the break tackle grab. Plus one movement loss for that one, but the block. Hey. 
Divey tackle with the block here for that halfling. Dirty player. I was under the impression long ago that if you get a halfling with a skill, you, you go and fire them, right? So what's up with all these halflings with, with skills, huh? What's going on? This one here with plus one is strength. It's all this TV bloat I see. Uh, I guess there's nothing wrong with taking some uh, TV because you're playing against people on the ladder and normally they'll have at least, what, 15, 1600 teams. So you're okay with the 1220 halfling team. A 4 agility halfling is all you need. That is true. And he's got it. True story, guys. So they were doing the World Cup playoffs format. And one of the things that I had... I had offered up on the table was tier 3 teams get access to plus 1 agility. <laughs> that would have been so funny. It almost went through too. It almost, it like last minute, it got changed. Like last minute. I, I kid you not. Tier 3 teams almost had plus 1 in agility for the World Cup playoffs. Almost. It would have been cool. That's the true story, guys. You heard it here. It, when we were doing all the formats, it was almost going to be... It was It was going to be... I offered on the table 7 normal skills for Tier 1 teams. And a double. And then 8 skills... 8 normal skills... No, wait. Yeah, 8... No, no, no. no 7... Se okay, six, 6 normal skills with 2 doubles for the tier 2 teams and then a plus 1 in agility and plus 1 in agility 7 normal skills and 3 doubles for the tier 3 teams we all did wolf bark it was it was a collaborative it was um it was quite a number of people i i, I was i was part of, i was part of it though that was my offering, and that was on the high end, and I know it was the high end. And I know it was on the high end, but I just I just wanted to see where where they were thinking and what they were doing. But it was it was pretty much a collaborative among like uh, many of the uh, champions ladder admins and the people from Focus and um Uh, I, I, I forgot who else, but it was mainly focused in the uh, admin team, yeah. Oh, you really like it, Wolf Park? Okay, well, uh, in the end, it was a... It was like a mashup of everybody's thing, right? So one one guy was like, oh, you know, we should have... We should have um, everybody skill up. And then I was like, okay, well, how about one skill per each round? And... And then they were like, yeah, yeah, one skill per each round, that sounds good. And then I think, um, what is it, uh, Dode was the one who actually said, okay, let's put doubles in there. And I was, and I, even I was like, what, you want to put doubles as, as the level up? I'm thinking just normal skills. So, I mean, and then uh, some of the other guys were a little bit more conservative on the numbers. They wanted, you know, the normal, like three normal skills for tier one, four for the tier two, and then you know, five for the tier three teams, and that's it. What will happen if you get 64 Wood Elf teams in the World Cup? I, I highly doubt that's gonna happen. I think, I think with the World Cup, the way that the format is, people are gonna play the team that they're comfortable with and comfortable in winning. So, I think you're still gonna see a lot of tier one teams. That's that's not gonna be you know you can't help that, but there's gonna be people who will play like, um, you know the uh, the the necros and all that. You won't be playing the wood elf team if you make it to the World Cup playoffs. I hope you do, Wolf Bart. Or make it to the playoffs. I mean the World Cup playoffs, not not play a wood elf team. I'm glad you guys liked it. We really, like, we really went, uh, there was a lot of back and forth on that, guys. So, it was, 
It was definitely something that was really hashed out for, I think, well over a month on on the format itself. And we really, really didn't, we didn't beat each other up, but we definitely, we definitely pushed for both sides. And I, I also really like how it ended up. Well, the reason why I really like the, the level ups between each round is that it also adds to the interest of the game because as one of the admins of the ladder, you know, I really feel like, and, and plus I'm a caster, right? And I announced the games, you know, cast the games and all that, shout cast it. So for me, I really want to have interest in between each of the rounds. So that's kind of what I was going for was just to make sure that we have interest in between rounds so that each round is not like, oh, it's the same wood elf team or it's the same dark elf team you know what i mean it's just each each round then you, can, you everyone has a new skill to pick it's only one skill but it could be the difference right you just don't know yeah it's definitely going to be really great for people who follow the tournament and definitely going to be interesting and and hopefully we won't see like you know 20,000 dwarf teams <laughs> you know what I mean? from the 2016 World Cup, right? I mean, God, that was... Oh, man. I feel like tearing my eyes out if I saw another dwarf team. <laughs> Lucky Luck like Luke, thank you so much for following. Really appreciate that, my friend. Yeah. Well, it was, it was always, it was always going to be a resurrection tournament. That was something that we all pretty much agreed on from the, from the start because... Um, it was going to be something that the up top wanted to kind of match up with the NAF settings. But I'm really happy that at least um, we were able to present what we wanted. Oh yeah, res is definitely good so that you can build up your guys. And, and every single round is fresh. You don't need to worry about, oh, I'm missing this, I'm missing that. Yeah, fixed progression is the way to go. Yeah, definitely. I love the extra thingy between rounds, but there's a difference between a round zero and this difference goes away after round two. One, one, two. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously in Blood Bowl, there's going to be some concession, but I mean, at the same time, it does. I mean, this is this Blood Bowl. It's unbalanced. There's, there's never going to be anything that will ever be really perfect, but the one thing that we can definitely say and I, I i hear a lot from all the other people and all around is that everybody seems to be pretty happy with the format as it is you know there's something for everyone conservative players can be like okay that's a little bit more skills than i want but you know that only happens after each round and then like people like me who wants to see a little bit more like a little bit more craziness a little bit more rng you know, just to have some stuff, it has enough skills to where each one will be a little bit more different than the others. Like, so even if you have two Wood Elf teams, they may be a little bit different from one another because of the skills. Maybe give the Tier 2 team something a little bit extra after X rounds. Well, let's just be happy the way it is. Because it's it was already hard enough to get that in because... Obviously, that's something that, with the fixed progression, not everyone was for. So it was pretty much a common ground right there. So, like, we ended up just saying, okay, one skill per each. I mean, tier two teams are gonna fall off a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna fall. They're gonna fall off by a lot. So, and you have to remember too, they do they do begin with a. Uh, an extra skill to start off with, right? Because they have, what, four skills for tier one and then five skills and a double for tier two teams to start. So that's an extra skill and a double to start off with for tier two teams. It's not just one extra skill that they get. Yeah, the only thing people kept saying, well, you know, it's originally also it was three maximum skills stacked. 
instead of two maximum skills. But then one of the other guys were like, hey, look, I played tabletop in a long time. Like, uh, unless it's a fun tournament, you don't really see people allowing people to stack skills up to three like that. And, uh, and then I was like, you know what? You're right. I haven't seen that really either. So, so we maxed it at two. Oh yeah, I definitely agree with that. I have to say, I was the one that introduced the three maximum skills, but I wasn't—I actually wasn't thinking about it. And then some, when somebody pointed it out, that's when I was like, "Oh yeah, you know what? You're, you're totally right. <laughs> that is—that is a bit too much." So it's just one of those things. Well, Alright guys, well thanks for joining me. It's been nice shooting and win with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna finish off the challenge The challenge thing. If you guys want to see it. I'm gonna be finishing this off. I'm gonna put the team names. I'm gonna put the team names next to these guys and also the name and the person. Thankfully, it's pretty much pretty much down the line for this is not set up yet, but uh, it will be soon. So thanks for joining me guys. Thanks for all the follows and all that great stuff you guys have been very fun to talk to hopefully i will be more right about the picks than wolf bark <laughs> but uh no problem if not not a big deal so hey i'll sh i'll see you guys next time for more blood bowl action where i covered all of the blood bowl action right here on my channel from the cabal visit champions cup first place 500 euros second 250 euros third and fourth place gets 100 euros a piece but don't forget, World Cup coverage coming up as well. Champions Cup, top four teams of each of the next two Champions Cup will receive a ticket. As well as the Invitational Cup. Where it's pretty much a last chance for some of these top tier, top teams. Or actually not teams, but the top coaches who hasn't received a ticket yet will be receiving. And then they'll be able to play, play it out in an eight-team single elimination tournament. So thanks again, guys. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.